I'm Kevin from Smoking Gachos. Today we're here for Hunter's Element, Kill to Grill, and I'm going to be making a wood fire rabbit ragu. So here we have a beautifully hunted wild rabbit being harvested from the bush. First thing we're gonna do is pat it down a bit to remove any excess moisture. So now we've pat the rabbit down, we wanna cut it into four pieces. Put a little bit of olive oil at first, give it a good rub. We're just gonna season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Some fresh basil. Finely diced pancetta or bacon. We've got some beautiful local Dutch carrots here. So we're just gonna dice some onions. Drip the basil leaves, finely chop the basil. I'm gonna chop up a bit of celery. Finely chop some parsley. We want about four decent cloves of garlic. All right, so we're gonna give a good splash of olive oil. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the rabbit over. So what we're trying to do is just brown it off. Now we're gonna transfer the rabbit from the skillet into the tagine, which we're gonna use as a slow cooker in the wood fire oven. Now we're gonna add our pancetta into the oil from the rabbit. And then we'll add our onion, some carrot, we'll let it stir around, some celery, some dried oregano, and now what we're trying to do is make the vegetables go golden brown. So we're going to use about a cup of white wine. Give that a stir. And uh, letting that wine evaporate. It's looking really beautiful. Just going to add some tomato paste now. And we're going to bring this to the boil. And I'm just gonna add a bit of a nice pinch of salt. Now what we wanna do is we wanna pour all of the sauce into the braised rabbit. And now we're gonna put the tagine in the wood fire oven for about four to five hours. In about four hours. So now we're gonna check out our rabbit ragu, see how she's looking, take a look. So we've brought inside the rabbit ragu, uh, ready to finish off. That's looking incredible. So you can see all that sauce is reduced. And what I'm gonna do is just remove bits of rabbit. We've just let the rabbit cool, cool down a bit. I've had a chance to uh, have a sneaky glass of wine. But what I'm gonna do now is start, look at that, just shredding all the rabbit, pulling it all off the bone all the little bones. All right, so we shred all of the beautiful rabbit uh, that was harvested from the wild. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add it to the, the ragu sauce, sprinkle it around and make sure that um, there are no fine, tough bits or, or anything like that. All right, I'm just going to fold the ragu mixture through the abundance of wood fire rabbit meat. Wow, look at the texture of that ragu sauce. All right, so we're just gonna slowly bring this up to temperature. Just add some warmth into it, getting it ready for the pasta. We're just gonna add our fresh egg pasta into our boiling salty water. The uh, pappardelle is all ready to go. We're gonna just add a couple of knobs of butter. Now we're just gonna work the pecorino. We're ready to plate up. So I'm just gonna grab some pasta here. Just added a little bit of pasta water, just to add a little bit of moisture right at the end. Lastly, a little bit of grated perino character. A little bit of tang, a bit of sweetness. Cracked pepper, a pinch of salt. We're gonna finish it off. A little bit of crusty bread, a glass of wine. So here's our wild rabbit Ragu for Hilda Grill and Hunter's Element. Straight from the hill to the grill, sustainably harvested wild rabbit in a wood fire rabbit ragu.